What's up YouTube, this is Damon, aka the world's worst magician, and today I'll be bringing you a look at Cube 3 by Steven Brundage. Um, now, it took me a little while because this has been out of stock, so now it's back in stock, but if you're not familiar with the effect, um, it's magic tricks involving a Rubik's Cube. And this is just a cheap dollar store one, and I'll get to that in just a moment. Um, but I'll leave a link in the description to where you can see a trailer for some of the effects. Um, so here's the box that it comes in. Uh, I'm going to open it sideways because it does have a link to the instructions on the inside. Um, so I did want to kind of compare these. So this is a speed one, and as you can see, you know, I'm flicking it, and you're getting some really good movement on it. Oh, sorry, I'm messy with it. But... Um, you barely have to flick it and it moves. Uh, now this is like a cheaper dollar store one and you can see that <laughs> I'm like forcing it right now and it's not it's not moving very well. So uh, it is a quality cube and it is a speed cube that you get. So if you know you're kind of concerned about the price and getting something cheap, this is actually a really nice uh, cube and it's actually adjustable. It gives you instructions uh, in the video if you want to make some adjustments to you know tweak it and make these move faster. Um, he says that they're silent but as you can see there's it's a very slight noise but it does make a noise it's not absolutely silent and the reason that's important is because for any of the effects you're actually going to be solving it um, with your hands. So um, to kind of get into it uh, as always, I will start with the negative. So a negative <clears throat> for you uh, may be that this is not a gimmicked cube. So if that's what you were expecting is that this cube would solve itself, uh, that is not going to happen. So this is completely skill-based, and he goes through the instruction of teaching you how to solve a cube step-by-step. Uh, step. So I'm not going to call it a negative, but the instruction is... <laughs> It is exhausting. Uh, it's three hours long, um, and you know he goes super in depth into how to do the things, and you know I appreciate that. But like I said, it is three hours of material, so you are gonna have to set aside a lot of time. Um, another thing would just be that this is gonna require a, a ton of practice. Um, even if you're good with a cube, it's still gonna take you some time. If you're like me, and you know I've never really worked with a Rubik's cube. Um, before it's going to take a really long time. So I laughed cause this is something that I was doing, uh, just because I had the cube as I was watching the videos and I noticed it's kind of a, a nervous thing that he does. The effects that he teaches are nice. So you get a few effects as far as what you can do with the cube. So, um, you know, one of them is imagination solve where essentially all you're doing is turning the cube and it slowly solves itself. Uh, another is that you can drop it into a bag and when you pull it out of the bag it will be solved um, or you can dump it out of the bag. Um, he has a color change that he does and then there's a few other effects. So all of the effects will involve a uh, sleight of hand with the cube. So you are going to need to get very good with manipulating the cube, especially being able to do it with one hand. Um, so like I said, it's not really a negative in that respect, but it is going to take you a large amount of time to get used to this. So you will be able to do everything that he shows you, um, everything that was in the trailer. And if you remember that video where he got out of a speeding ticket or something like that by uh, throwing the cube behind his back and solving it, uh, that's in there as well. So um, it's honest. The instruction, like I said, it's exhausting, but it is very in-depth and will tell you everything you need to know. Um, it also comes with PDF versions so that uh, if you're on the go, the video files are kind of large so you can take the PDFs with you and then just kind of reference those for the um, different sequences that you'll need to know uh, in order to solve the cube. So questions that you may have, is this for beginners? Um, I would say yes, but like I said, it's going to take you a little bit longer to get the technique down. but he does walk you through step by step. So I would suggest uh, scrambling a cube and then practicing doing it, you know, step by step because he does take you through. Um, there's a science to solving the cube. 
So he takes you through, there's a process that you go through. Like you start with uh, one section and then as you get that one done uh, in a certain pattern, then you go ahead and work off the other sections until you are finally uh, having a solved cube. So um, it's a it's a great project, uh, great trick, great instruction. Uh, if you're worried about the cost, I did look up um, some Rubik's cubes and some of the nicer cubes. And they weren't that expensive there, but they were like ten to uh, ten to fifteen dollars, somewhere in that range. So, you know, as far as getting three hours of instruction uh, from a professional and getting a speed cube, uh, it's not really that expensive or overpriced, I would say. Um, but you know, as always, I will leave that decision up to you. Um, you may wonder what is the angle sensitivity, and for most of them you can pretty much do them surrounded. Um, some of them will require a little bit of crowd control. Uh, one effect, the color change, they have to be directly to the left of the cube. Uh, so you would basically be holding it like this with the spectators to the left. But um, for most of the effects, you can have, you can be surrounded because you're using your hands to kind of go around it. And as you're going around it, you're doing a move uh, in order to solve it. So um, not too much angle sensitivity. As far as the reset, uh, it's instant and dependent on your ability. Uh, he also shows you something that I didn't know existed in a Rubik's Cube, but uh, false shuffles. <laughs> so it's a way to make the cube look like it is completely out of sorts when you are in complete control of it. Um, and he actually shows you several variations of the false shuffle, so you have a few options there. So that's also awesome because <laughs> I didn't know those things existed. Um, so for me... Uh, I don't think that I'll really be performing tricks with this, but it's really nice just to know how to solve the cube. I mean, I never knew that there was a, an entire scientific method behind it. I thought you just kind of figured it out with your head or cheated and moved the stickers. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it's definitely a, a good project and uh, just great to have the knowledge. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description to where you can pick this up. And uh, if there were any other questions you had other than what I covered, uh, just let me know. And that's uh, everything I got. So, yeah, that's been your look at Cube 3 by Stephen Brundage. All right, see ya. Well, I hope you liked that review. And if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.